Hi everyone, so I just wanted to make a quick video uh, to talk about the hidden super sampling settings for the Vive that were recently discovered and everyone's kind of been buzzing about them over the past few days. So these settings basically let your Vive render graphics at a higher resolution and then it will downscale them down to the Vive's native resolution. And what this does is it just increases the image quality and it makes quite a difference, but it will also lower your performance. So it's something you only want to do if you have a pretty good graphics card. Uh, so you can use these super sampling settings uh, to improve the graphics of a variety of VR games. Uh, the one I used it for was Elite Dangerous, and it actually fixes all of the graphical issues with Elite Dangerous on the Vive, so text becomes much sharper, uh, distant objects are easier to see, and the graphics just look better in general. So what you're seeing here is actually just the VR preview window, but when you're in the headset, the effect is very noticeable. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to enable this option. Uh, you do have to modify a file on your computer and enter in a line of text in order to make it work. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open the Steam folder, and the Steam folder is going to be in a different location based on where you installed Steam on your computer. Uh, once you're in the Steam folder, open up the config folder, and you're going to find a file in the config folder called steamvr.vr settings. First thing you should do when you're editing a file like this is go ahead and back it up. So I copied it and now I'm going to make a folder called backup and paste it in there. And then you want to open the steamvr.vr settings file in notepad. So you're going to see a bunch of values in here. You don't want to touch any of them. You want to go down to the section that says steamvr and then you're going to add this value that says render target multiplier and then it has a number. Uh, the number represents uh, the multiplier for the super sampling, how it's going to multiply your, your resolution. So I have it at 1.5 right now. The number that you put it at is going to depend on your video card. I have a 980 Ti video card, which is like a mid-range video card for VR, so I put it at 1.5. If you have a 1080, I would put it at 2.0 and try that out. If you have like a 970, I'd probably put it at 1.2 or 1.3. You can try it out in one-point increments and see which one works for you. The important thing is that you don't let your FPS drop below 90 because when that happens you start getting judder and it's going to reduce your enjoyment of VR overall. So getting below 90 FPS is not worth the increased graphics from this. So make sure that you have a number that works for you. And I'm gonna paste this into the description of this video. So if you want you can just go and copy and paste the text that I put there. And one thing to keep in mind here is, notice this comma here. Um, the last little value here under SteamVR does not have a comma, which means you should put render target multiplier before show stage true. And if for whatever reason you really want to put it after show stage true, what you have to do is add a comma after true and then remove the comma from render target multiplier. The last entry in these lists should not have a comma. And if you put one in there, it'll mess things up. So I think the uh, best option is just to add it in the middle with a comma after it. And you should be fine. And then you save your file, and you boot up a game, and you enjoy the increased graphics. So that's it. And thank you for watching this. Have a great day, and goodbye.